Hi guys and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to talk in detail about how I got my dream horse job. For those of you that do not know, my official title is a McTimony Animal Chiropractor and an Equine Sports Therapist. I also have various other qualifications which I will get to later on as we progress through the video. But before we start, I just want to say this video is probably going to be of interest to you if you're in school or you're getting close to finishing school or maybe you're more mature, you're a mature student and you're thinking about going back to study but you're not sure. So I'm hoping that this video will be able to answer any of the questions that you guys might have. If you do have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will reply to every single one. If you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe and to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any future videos. So before I start talking specifically about the courses that I have done and studied, I think first I'll just talk a little bit about school. If any of you are wondering, from my A-levels I took English, PE and Applied Science. Applied Science was a little bit of all three sciences. An entry requirement for the degree in equine sports therapy that I took at Riddle was you had to have some kind of science. So I know that this is a very daunting time for anyone. I remember like <laughs> when I was in school and having to think about choosing the path for my life. It's like quite a big decision to make. So obviously you want to make sure that you've made the right decision. So the first place I studied after completing my A-levels was Riddle University College. It was actually just called Riddle College when I went there, but now it's called University College. I went to look at a variety of equine colleges all over England and Ireland. And it all really stood out for me. Not, not only did I really love the facilities and the yard, because for me that was very important because I was going to be taking my horse Boo with me. It was important that she would have a nice place to live. But also, most importantly, this was one of the only universities and still is that offers these types of courses. I'm just going to show you quickly a little bit about the modules that they cover. Of course, if this interests you, you can go and look on their website in greater detail. So if you look at the course modules, you can see they have a really big range of course modules. I would say one thing is if you're not a big lover of biology, anatomy, physiology, this type of course maybe won't interest you because it's quite heavy on the anatomy and physiology. In fact, all the courses that I took are. So if that's not something that you're interested in, maybe being an animal therapist isn't something for you. However, if you're like me and that is something that interests you, then you will definitely love this course. I really, really loved my time at Riddle College. I left home when I was 18 to go there and having never lived anywhere else like ever apart from Ireland like that was a big step for me but I felt really at home there. I loved the course, I loved the studies, I loved the people, I loved living there. If you check further down on the page you can see the specific entry requirements for the course depending on where you're from they'll vary. As part of my degree in equine sports therapy we also had the option to study an externship in sports massage. This was with Equinology, you can see here on their website. This is the course that I took, the Equinology Equine Body Worker. This course was super. Again, there's quite a little bit of anatomy, physiology, muscle terminology, directional terminology. Although you do get to learn a lot of massage techniques and hands-on stuff, there is still quite a sciencey background to a lot of it. So I studied the course, which was I think a week of classes, if I recall. You'll have to forgive me, this was a few years ago. <laughs> So I took this whilst I was studying my degree at Riddle. The externship for this was six months. It's an excellent course. I still remember everything that I learned on it. And that was like eight, eight or nine years ago that I studied this. Whilst I was in the final year of my degree at Riddle, that's when I also studied to become a laser practitioner. One of my lecturers actually practiced with laser and I'd seen her use it and she'd used it on my horse Boo. So this really was of interest to me. So as soon as I had the opportunity, I trained in laser therapy and bought my own laser. When you buy the laser, they automatically train you, obviously as it should be. <laughs> when I finished my degree at Riddle, that's when I actually got the opportunity to move to Dubai. That's when I really started building up clients, started making a name for myself and treating lots of horses. I've had the privilege to treat many horses at the highest levels in dressage, racing and jumping. It's something that I'd always dreamed of doing and it's amazing to actually be able to work with the level of horses that I had dreamed. So after I completed my degree in Riddle College, which took me three years, I'd also in that time done my equinology equine body worker massage certificate and I'd also studied to become a laser practitioner and had bought a laser by this stage. I worked in Dubai treating horses for almost two years. I was working as an equine sports therapist and laser therapist. After working for around two years it was at this point in my life that I decided I wanted to be able to offer more to my clients. 
I had seen many cases where horses needed a chiropractic adjustment or they needed some osteopathy. They needed something, some type of manipulation and not being able to offer that for me was just didn't make sense. So that's when I decided that I was going to train to become an animal chiropractor. So I actually studied to become an animal chiropractor at the McTimony College. This is one of the, this is the only college in the world that offers a master's degree in animal manipulation. The route that I took actually was a non-human pathway, which is not possible. Many years ago, you had to train in humans first before you could treat animals. So for me, as a horse crazed teenager, I was so glad that there was a way that I could do what I wanted to do without having to do it in people first. So for me, that was absolutely perfect and essential because 17 year old me was horse crazy and did not want to, did not want to be learning about people. I just wanted horses 24 seven. So this really suited me. So in order to allow me to study my master's degree in animal chiropractic, I first had to study a graduate diploma in animal therapy. This was for everyone who wanted to do the master's degree in animal chiropractic but didn't have a manipulation background. So for me, having come from a non-human pathway and a non-manipulation pathway, I had to take the graduate diploma in animal therapy, which was a year long. So after completing the graduate diploma in animal therapy, that's when I was finally able to start my master's degree in animal chiropractic. This course was another two years. It was part time. So it meant that I lived and worked in Dubai, but once a month I had to travel to England for one weekend for classes. So I would do all my classes in England and then I would do all of the work in Dubai whilst also still working, treating and riding horses. So it was a pretty intense, that was a pretty intense two, three years for me, especially in the final year when I did my dissertation because that was a 20,000 word project and we had to do our own experiment. See, so yeah, I took up a lot of my time. That's actually, I don't know if anyone noticed, but I actually didn't make a lot of YouTube videos then like one a month. <laughs> But yeah, so the, the Masters in Animal Chiropractic was a lot of work, but an excellent course. I really loved it. Both my degrees I absolutely loved and I would recommend them to anyone if you're at all interested in animal therapy and helping animals and relieving their pain and helping them to perform better, then this is definitely something that's for you. As a child, I always loved animals and we always had lots of animals. I didn't actually ride a horse for the first time until I was 13. And I got my first horse when I was 16. After I got my first horse, that was it, hooked. And I knew from that stage in my life that I definitely needed, to, needed and wanted to work with horses. But at that stage, I wasn't sure whether I wanted to go down the therapy route, the farrier route, the dentistry route, the veterinary route. I ruled out the veterinary route pretty early, purely because I'm pretty squeamish with anything particularly gory. Anything that's a little, like a little small wound, I'm good, but anything gory, I cannot. So that ruled out the veterinary for me. Farriery, I also just didn't really want to spend my whole life bent over. You always hear farriers complaining about their backs. <laughs> and then that left me with the dentistry and the therapy. And the therapy was just something that really grabbed me. I remember the first time I ever saw a therapist treat a horse was uh, <laughs> was right after my horse Charlie bucked me off cross country. Many of you will probably know this video because it's actually the whole reason I got into YouTube because this video was like my first ever video that went viral. So yeah, after this video happened, a few days after my dad uh, called out a chiropractor, his name was Paddy, and he came and treated my horse. And I was amazed because it made such a difference to him because he had bucked me off. The horse was obviously in pain. I didn't at the time like know how to fix that or anything so that for me was a great introduction and after seeing him working I knew that that was something that definitely would be that would be for me. I hope that this video can kind of give you guys a little bit more of an insight and if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments below. Whilst I was in the first year of my master's degree, this is when I also studied to become a dry needling practitioner. I did this with Equix Educations. And actually just looking on their website, I just see now that they actually don't run this course anymore, which is a shame because it was a super course. You had to have already been a therapist in order to take this course because you had to have some kind of background before they let you insert needles into horses. <laughs> Needling was something I'd always been really fascinated about, having learned about it in my degree, but not having any experience with it. Because in the UK and Ireland, acupuncture or dry needling is not allowed unless administered by a veterinarian. Obviously, I'm not a veterinarian. Once I found that there was a course available in the Netherlands, I jumped at the chance, even though I was still doing my master's. I was like, OK, the course is only a few days. I can go and do this and still manage to do my master's work. 
So last but not least, we have the MagnaWave machine. This is a type of pulse electromagnetic field therapy or PEMF therapy. The MagnaWave machine uses a unique electrical current that runs through a copper coil. This creates a pulse electromagnetic field. So maybe many of you are not familiar with what MagnaWave or PEMF therapy is. Just to give you a little bit of background. It was first studied in the 1900s by Tesla. NASA actually spent $3.5 million in researching PEMF treatments and their potential benefits for astronauts. Just as an interesting side note, I use MagnaWave mainly for inflammation and pain management for improving performance. It's also FDA approved for treating depression, anxiety, non-union bone fractures, urinary incontinence and migraines and so on and so forth. If you want to know more about PEMF therapy or laser therapy, I recommend that you check out the respective websites because they provide access to the published literature that's available relating to both laser therapy and MagnaWave. Definitely one of the benefits of MagnaWave is that it's painless and it's non-invasive. Another reason that I actually love my MagnaWave machine is it doesn't require me to actually be holding it to be treating the horse. So this is super for me, it frees up my hands, it means I can be adjusting one area of the horse while treating another area with the MagnaWave. So as a therapist, that's one of the most invaluable things you have because time is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, see you next time.